Yesterday, I showed you how you could hover over child containers and have them grow, but I'm going to take it a step further because I've done some videos where I've shown you how you could have like an accordion system. So maybe you've got something like this and you hover over it and look, you've got a heading and a bit of text appear over there. And look, we've got this growing effect. Now, the CSS code we used here, I've evolved it a little bit to do something a little bit different because maybe you want to have this effect and I'm not using slides or anything like that. And it's not even an accordion. This is just using child containers. And the great thing about that is that you could drop whatever you want into it. Everything sits inside a parent container that has a boxed width of 1000 pixel. And above you can see my to scale ruler, uh, which goes from 100 to 1100, which is 1000 pixel. Now inside of the parent container, in fact, let me just go back a step. Everything is set to be a row and I have also got it as space evenly. You didn't have to do that, but I just did but everything is a row. So every child container I add in will sit basically side by side. If we go to the very first child container, you can see them all over here. They're all set to be 12.5%. And I will explain why when we get to the code. So just remember that every container in here, I'm gonna click through all of them. You can see them, they are all set to 12.5%. Now my first child container is literally just a background image. And the great thing about the child container is you can drop in further heading or text. The second child container is again, just a background image. I mean, you know, you can decide if you're gonna go for contain, cover, center, centers, top center, whatever. The third one again is just a background image, but the fourth and fifth one, are slightly different because if I expand the fourth one now, this actually has the call to action widget. So if we expand on that, it's currently set to be a cover. So if I was to go with classic, you're going to see now you get the image at the top, you get your heading and your button like that. I've gone for cover instead. And if we go to content, there's no description. If you want to add in a description, you can do it. Just means you've got a bit more detail. Don't worry about that. But I have just popped in a heading and I've popped click here as a button. So when you hover over it, you'll see here the text appeared and the button as well. And you go to style, you go to hover effects, you can decide I've gone with sliding down. The duration is one second or 1000 milliseconds. And you can change, you know, the coloring as well. And the fifth one is a call to action widget again. And then I've just changed the hover effect so that it's saturated until you hover over it. So see it's black and white and you hover over it and the color kicks in. All of the child containers in here have the exact same class name. So it doesn't matter which one you click on. When you go to the advanced tab, they are all called hov X, okay? You can pop whatever name you want in there. Just make sure it's consistent with every single class name. By the way, the parent container does not have a class name. It's the child containers. Now, before we go on to the code, there is one final thing you must do for the very first child container or whichever container you want to be the prominent one. You may go for child container number five. I feel like it logically works with child container one. Make sure when you're in the advanced tab, the size is set to grow. If you go to child container number two and you go to the advanced tab, that is not set to grow. It is only the first child container. You set that to grow. Now let's go and look at the CSS code. And you know, when I said I evolved it, I probably stretched my imagination. So we're in the parent container now. You go to custom CSS, here's the code. It's practically the same as what it was before. And I've just slightly tweaked it with one minor little thing. It still is only good for sizes that are 768 or greater, minimum width 768. Because when you get to the mobile, this will not work very well. Trust me, I've seen like these accordion styles and they get very busy and messy and everything looks really slim. So when you're on a mobile, you want to make sure your parent container, rather than being a row, is now like a column or verticular and everything just sits below one another. Or you may decide to hide some of the components. We have HovX, which is the class name for all the child containers with a transition of 0.5 seconds. Make it quicker or slower to your heart's content. But here's the clever bit, right? HovX hover, which is kind of the same as what was being done before. The width is 50%. In yesterday's video, it was 70%, but here it is 50%, okay? And I really want you to focus on this now. Remember this first child container we set to grow, okay? Because everything in here is defaulted to 12.5, okay? If you do five times 12.5, what do you get? You get 62.5, which I'm sure you worked out, but then take away 12.5 and you get 50. I could have just said times by four, but I just wanted to get your mind to understand this, right? One of them is going to be big. So five minus one equals four. Four times 12.5 is 50, 50%. 50 
So I'm now saying that when you hover, make that 50%. So the remaining 50% will now be taken up by the other four child. I need three then. The other four child containers, 12.5, 12.5, 12.5, 12.5, that is 50%. So whenever you hover over this, that's going to fill up the 50%. And then the remaining 50% is filled up by the other four, 12.5 each. So when you view this, it just works really, really well. And where you've used a call to action widget, you've got words flowing in. And by the way, I've done it with slide down. You can go on with slide up. I know you're looking at this and going, yeah, but the words slid up. Yeah, with call to action, it's, it's almost like the other way. But you've got a range of hover effects you can do to the background, to the wording. You could have a description floating. You know, this could be a call to action button that's going to click and take them elsewhere. But this is not with an accordion. This is just with child containers. And I feel like by doing it this way, you've just got so much more control. And yeah, you may have to think a little bit mathematically. I apologize for that. But if you want it to be viewed, I mean, look, if I was going to say, let's go back to the parent container just to get this point across. OK, if I was going to say that this is now going to fill up, say, 60%. I would now make each of these be 10% because if you've got five of them and if you had four or three, you do the mathematics, okay? Please don't say you can't do that because you can easily work it out. 100%, right? If this is going to fill up, um, in fact, let's make it bigger, 80%, right? That means you've got 20% left over. You've got four over other containers. 20% divided by four is going to be five. So you would then set every single child container to be 5% over there but you make sure the very first child container is set to grow. I hope this gets you to be a bit more imaginative uh, and think a little, but hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Don't forget to check out our $1 business packs. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.